YouTube channel. We are in the gorgeous Devon countryside and we have come to stay in the most beautiful little wagon. We are staying at the Pig at Coombe and I cannot wait to show you around. Welcome into the most gorgeous little wagon on wheels. I'm going to show you around now, it's so pretty um, and we've been here for a couple of hours already and I've enjoyed the outside bath and John's had an outside shower um, and it's just been wonderful um, and we're going to mix up some cocktails and mm. just have a really nice time I think. Oh yeah, it's fantastic. <laughs> Gonna make the cocktails. Gin and tonic, very simple, but yes, absolutely. No tongs, excuse fingers. There are tongs. Where? Oh no, there's not. There's just a little gap in there. Uh, you can make both and then I'll decide when I taste it. No, that's just two halves and then we can have another one later, so you've got one each.
we've just been having a look around the gorgeous kitchen garden and one of the most unique things I've ever seen is a hotel growing its own mushrooms. So let's go and have a look. So this is the mushroom house and they grow all different varieties of mushrooms here which they obviously use in their cooking in the kitchen. Um, and you can have a little look down here. This is the gorgeous kitchen garden. It's one of my favourite parts of visiting any stately home, hotel. Um, and this particular kitchen garden will provide 90% of the food that the kitchen needs to feed all of its guests throughout the summer, which is incredible. So over here, we've got elephant garlic, we've got lettuce, and we've also got onions. But one of my favourite things we've got, which all gardens could easily have, is a bee hotel. Behind me you will see the best exotic marigold bug hotel and I love it. I think things like this are so fun and they're so easy to just put together in your garden. Um, you can use bits of broken pots, straw, you can use old canes that you would have used for beans and things like that and they're great for different types of insects from um, like minor bees that you get which will live in um, masonry and things like that. You've also got ladybirds, spiders, all of these bugs are super vital to preserving a garden and just keeping the ecosystem of a garden organic and alive and um, I really believe everyone should have something like this in their garden and if you don't have a garden you could easily have something like this outside, on the wall, even if you live in a flat. garden it's lovely there's still obviously a lot of things that are yet to come up because we are in spring um, so I'm now going to take you through into the herb garden which is where all the beautiful botanics will have been put together and they'll be used to create gorgeous concoctions for cocktails and also things like desserts and obviously on their savoury menu
you the herb garden I want to show you something everyone loves these and they are just a classic in a traditional English garden and they are the rhubarb forces We're going into the herb garden now and one of the first things you'll be greeted by are these gorgeous hops. Come the autumn they are going to look gorgeous and they'll all be draped over here. You might have seen those on social media in um, beautiful interior designers houses. They look stunning um, but they're also used to make beers and things like that so um, it's a versatile product in multiple ways. So there's lots of different things growing in the herb garden. We've even got some fruits over here so we've got fruit trees um, these are strawberries that we've got growing down here um, and these look like uh, kind of an apple I think, quince maybe? Um, and then over here we've got lots of different herbs, so we've got tarragon which is a very fragrant herb used in a lot of French cooking. Um, we've got sorrel down here, fennel, fennel is extremely pungent. And it is a bit of an acquired taste, it's quite licorice-y. Um, my mum doesn't like it, but uh, it is used in a lot of cookings, um, so they've got quite a lot of it here and it will get very tall, it will be much taller than me by the time the season's over. And then if we look across the garden, we've got things such as thyme, we've got lavender, we've got rosemary, which is that gorgeous bush down there with all of the different coloured leaves and petals on. Um, and then if you look across, you can go over to the house. And we are now going to head over to the house and have a gorgeous dinner and I cannot wait, so we'll take you with us. I think if you go on the website, we should have a few pictures with the with this setup already yeah. for like you know, the parties and stuff. And then we've got a whole selection of empty bottles that have been yeah. served all over the years. Oh my last, god. Yeah, since we opened. And it was all the way up there, obviously we can keep them all. <laughs> Some of them. So when we have a, um, a sommelier table for us and an anniversary or birthday, we do put candles all over the place. This day, Monday, Thursday, last week. Wow, very we had nice. People in here, and it was a 50th birthday uh, anniversary. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
and then in the summer we do quite a few events with the uh, um, cheese and white wine pairing. Oh yeah. Uh, about two a week. Two wow. a week. Yeah. 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 It works really well. All of our locals love, love it. I love it. Yeah. There we are. Uh, this is the first round of Bordeaux where we keep all our uh, roses and white. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Wow. It's storage room for the uh, yeah. uh, soft drinks and beers. I mean, it's quite a fancy storage room, isn't it? Hello, come on this side. This is wow. for babies, we call it. <laughs> Excuse the mess in here, they just had a delivery and they're putting things away and stuff. So, the very kind of rare wines or so are all in this corner here. Yeah. We do have wines like, for example, is the last bottle of wine. Elsewhere, you're not going to find it. When it's gone, it's gone. Wow. Mm. Reds and as well as some um, uh, champagnes. Yeah. This is literally the, the same setup like since the old house. That's where it was the old uh, oh, cellar. Yeah. <laughs> Langham, and that is 82% Chardonnay, and the rest uh, is Madeleine Angevin, that one we talked about earlier from the Dartmouth and, and such like that. And mm. um, very fresh, and um, this is definitely that sort of crisper side of wine. A little that kind of crisp apple, a little bit of that kind of peachiness in there as well. That's nice, mm. isn't it? Are you looking at the wine list? Not much choice. Oh yeah, there's minimal choice on the wine list, isn't there? Yeah, that's only the white. <laughs> that's only the white? This <laughs> red. Gosh, that's quite a lot. Spot. We are in the corner of the room and we've just picked our wines and I've gone with one that the owner of the hotel has um, helped create and John's gone with an English wine which is Kits something or other. Kits 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 yeah. I'm not very good with my wines or anything like that, I just enjoy what I'm told is nice. Um, and uh, we've got a gorgeous view out across the countryside and across the garden and we're just about to order our main courses and well our starters and uh, I can't wait. It just looks so lovely.
little wagon. We had a really lovely dinner last night and then got driven back to the um, wagon. Um, and we also went and had a look around, as you will have seen, um, the amazing wine cellars that they've got here. They are amazing and there is so much wine down there. Um, I don't know anything about wine. I'm not going to pretend I do. John does a bit. A bit, I think. A um, bit. Yeah, a not little. More. <laughs> more than I do. Um, and we woke up this morning and I went and had a bath in our outside bath. That was amazing. Um, and we're just waiting for someone to come and pick us up now so we can go and have breakfast. And I am looking outside over the prettiest what I'm sure will become flower meadow. Um, it's definitely got the startings of one. Um, and the most gorgeous little thatch cottage. and instead of getting driven back to our little cabin we thought we would walk it's about 15 20 minutes um, just over here in the middle of nowhere so we're going to take you on a little walk before we head off to the coast and then head off home was a dinosaur found the head. Um, I don't exactly. Mm. Maybe it was further down that way. Yeah. It was um it's long along the stretch of the Jurassic Coast. This is sort of the start of it really. We found an ammonite on the edge of a rock and we're trying to open it and it's just not happening. Well, you might. I think you maybe give it a few more. I'm doing it in a very uh, amateur way. I need a, need a hammer. I don't have a hammer, I'm afraid. Got to try again. Nope. Oh, and the edge of the rock up there, up here, I don't know if you can see it, is all shiny. 
got water trickling down. Do you see that? There's actually loads in there when you start looking. All of those like... Yeah, there might all be some shapes there. Or plants or something that's yeah. attached to it. If you cut a, a Chunk. straight line through it, you might get really nice. And there's like a rock here and it's got like loads of them in it. Like things like this will probably have them in it. Like this is definitely how people are going at it. Hmm. Old rusty chunk of glass here. I don't know if it's a, like a worth worth keeping piece it looks a bit it's a bit manky looking if it was like green or blue or pink I would have kept it oh my gosh look at all of this are these from people trying to like smash them you think? no they'll be oh my god work on that you get a really nice piece well this bit here is about to crumble out yeah I reckon that looks like an old eye in that thing there weird yeah yeah There's lots of smashed glass here, so just watch out. Guess that all the people coming down here in like the you know, 1920s and stuff would have bought bottles of stuff. What's that? Yeah, that's a bit. I would say a lot of those are. Well, they probably are. Thank <laughs> you.